Are you here for the sin? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is Fuck You. If you're not here for the sin, then you're here for me. What do you want? I need what's in your head. That you cannot have.
to hack this. Excuse me. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K-198. But I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send it coarser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him, too. Then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do.
I have a report here that reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. All right. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? Follow me now. Tom needs you. Keep Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. It's not so. Hey, dude. You need something? Tom, we got to from Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! You hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. What can we get off the Courser chip? Those chips have more than just codes on them. Everything from how it's made to what it's made from tells us something about our enemy. One minor detail could mean the difference between life and death for our agents and the synth we're trying to save. Now hand it over and let's get it analyzed. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. Deacon's oh, practice. Little course of chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you Institute sure bastard. I got you. It's all all right. Soft for him. Come on. Show me that sweet bass note. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, guys. And Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Dez has given me clearance balls. to set up my got atmospheric scavers. Finally. I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. I suppose you're here for my medical. We got a lot of synths in play right now. It makes things really dangerous. Security's too good.
we get out of here, I don't think we'd make pretty ghouls. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Your confidence is staggering. I'm just saying, I can't guarantee it'll work. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Protect and serve.
Tinker Tom's been looking for you. Do you need something? Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. So that's what the Courser chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? What does this machine do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. The Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years in too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation. That the Institute could build something so... But we've got work to do. This is our top priority now. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way possible to get this device built. Ready to hand over the plans? This is the big one. Here you go. Let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? See, Must have been a real big kid. Oh, man! Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Those Institute eggheads are crazy. And you can divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. L like a pirate broadcast, you know? That's intense. Skip to the part where we build the thing, Tom. The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit, but they're missing a ton of engineering details. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here, the stabilized reflector platform, just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. Psh, by the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done. Nice work, Tom. Glad you're on our side. Hey, tell that to Carrington, though. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. Uh, it should fit over at Mercer's safe house. Pam's already given that place her full blessing. I'll flag some runners to deliver the components there. We're running since I'm well wasted. Legal problem even the institute. Use the back Too much traffic from the church. You came to visit. I...
Oh, you wouldn't. Need something?
Someday, super mutants kill everything. Uh, you got the platform built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm waiting for the good news. I did it. The platform's constructed. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. We can actually build this crazy thing. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredient's pretty common. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our safe houses. You find those, and we'll knock down the gates of hell. Thanks, Tom. I'll find them. I don't doubt it for one minute. After you get the gettables, meet me at the bill site. Tom wants you for something. Up there, assume you're being watched. Always. Glad you signed on. It means I might get to take the occasional night off. 
where all the synths got. All along, the bastards have been teleporting personnel. Got it. Hey, whatever you did worked. Fist was weak leader.
Cross all clear.
spill it. We need a metric ton of power to get this to work. Yeah? The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any change, we need to be safe. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Patriot? There's a man 
or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps synths escape to freedom. Dozens of synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. I can't risk that. I need to find my son. I'm confident you can find a way to do both. I leave it to your discretion. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the stairs, he says. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. All right, feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact a patriot. Oh, man, uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. Tom, do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can. About synth. About the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the aura! We got it. Find a way to save them. Nobody else can. Now! father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, Countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished, but for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son.
broken. No way to pick this. We need the key. this. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. Father. It's me. What's going on? What's I'm... happening? I'm your dad. Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, I don't know you. It'll be okay, Go Sean. Away. I'm Father. here now. Father, help me! There's someone here, help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean, S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son. To Sean. God. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environment. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. 
and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you, kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human sense? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, Members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. 
It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen it myself. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown.
Got it. Scanner's clear. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long Doc. up there, don't you Welcome. think? Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I'll reserve judgment until I know more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. 
Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. Sorry, but I'm too preoccupied with chit-chat. We're all looking forward to working with you. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Also, if you haven't patched the navigation software, do so now. You smell like you've been above ground. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Good to see you. Feeling well today? Welcome to the Institute, sir. All systems nominal. Seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. Report anything suspicious to the SRB. Targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take your courses with me. Glad you made it. a message. So much research, so little time. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Here we're about to get a new food supplement. I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you, but try to remember that synths aren't people. <clears throat> I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. We need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. Yeah, well, if you can't get along, it's going to be hard to accomplish anything. Yeah, even worse, we got a lot of smart guys with fragile egos. Anyway, we'll figure it out. It was good to meet you. Father's a great man. You must be very proud. Doctor. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to Father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the institute. They are highly self-sufficient, 
trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Reporting status. All functions normal. Nothing to report, sir. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? You know I can't talk about that. You wouldn't happen to have a spare polarizer on you, would you? Hello. Dr. Orman's lecture on cold fusion was nothing short of a revelation. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to Good enjoy to one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. She's been at it for over two hours. In case hey, anyone didn't time. mention it, Nothing. quiet time runs point, from she's 10 just for fun. to 6 a.m. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Greetings, sir. Hello. Pardon me. It's an honor to have you here, sir. I can't imagine living on the surface. It sounds like a nightmare. Your presence here is a great gift. Not just to Father, but to all of us. So much research, so little time. to deliver.
Excuse me, Doctor. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Ask me, we're only scratching the surface with the latest suits.
Dr. Lee, I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment. Very well. I'm hoping that the above ground... Dr. Lee. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Rushed work is sloppy at best, and deadly at worst. Well, look at the two of us here in Sanctuary, prepared for the future.